that looks good. I mean, that, that looks insane. All kinds of fruits going on in here. All kinds of fruits. Riley Sirola coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Holborn. And I'm gonna be showcasing my old Dutch on High Holborn Street. Stay tuned because at the end of this episode, I'm gonna let you know whether to give this place a hit or a miss. Boom. So like if you're not in the mood for pancake, you can try something else. Salads. So you've got the butterscotch pancakes. Even free on request. Sweet pancakes. And you've got a kids menu and afters. Wow, they did so much. Oh no, that's mine. That's mine. <laughs> so you've got a really big straw, which is always good. Um, the smoothies can get a bit thick. Uh, it's super, it's super sweet, super rich, and I absolutely love it. So it's that time again to go to the little boy's room and show you guys exactly what state it's in. So let's go. So here in the gents, it's pretty small. Uh, it doesn't exactly smell fresh. Got three urinals, a cubicle, and it's quite awkward because as you come in, to shut the door, it's really tight. Can you see how tight it is? Just to shut the door, it's very small. Wow, this place is actually really big. I thought it was small because you only see a little section over here, but downstairs there's quite a lot of space, open space. It smells nice. I haven't got any dock in that. It's alright, I like the, the, the sauce. sauce. It's really nice. Poison sauce. Mm. So we've got this duck with poison sauce. Um, admittedly, they've, it does seem like they've put a bit too much poison sauce in there, but it's okay. Just scrape it away. It's pretty good. Almost like a light, a light pizza. This pear, it's not fresh, it's like it's hard, really hard. This may come as a bizarre verdict, as the earlier footage would indicate that I enjoy the food. Oh, that was my initial reaction. I left the place dissatisfied. For one, the savoury pancake, it, it had too much hoisin sauce going on. It was quite sickening and the toppings were not fresh. The pear and cinnamon pancake, it was disgraceful. It was better off without the, the pear because the pear was just absolutely hard and I couldn't taste any cinnamon. It was like it was non-existent. So for taste, this place gets a two. Customer service was mediocre. It was okay. However, some of the staff lacked attention to detail. When they served the, the sweet pancake, you'd think you'd be convinced that Oh, I've got to eat this with my bare hands because there was no cutlery. They didn't, they didn't provide us with any cutlery. The toilets, they were tired looking and in need of a makeover. So on that basis, customer service, this place gets a free. In total, the food came, the bill came to just under 30 pounds. Would I say that's good value? Well, considering that we left the place as light as a feather, I'd say no. It's not great value. And on that basis, this place gets a one. 
Would I come to My Old Dutch again? Yes, but only because I would like to try other items on the menu. Based on my experience, I can't recommend this to anyone. So on that basis, I'll give this place a miss. So that's the end of my review. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. If you know about any beautiful, amazing pancake houses in London or even the UK, let me know. So, till next time, peace.